everyone, welcome again to my channel. I'm Deka Dara from Abuja Mom. I'm a lifestyle blogger and a mommy blogger based here in Abuja. So if you're new to my channel, this is the best time to subscribe. This is the best time to click on the bell button to always get notified when I post new videos. And this is also the best time to give me a big thumbs up if you're enjoying my videos so far. And after watching this video, if you really love the content, you can also comment and share if you like. If you like, oh. <laughs> so this is me just being calm. I'm really, really extra. Like my oldest know that I'm really, really extra. Anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about some of the ways, like five ways, not some. Five ways I make my kids eat Nigerian food, focusing mostly on like things like beans and eba you know it's very difficult moms we all know it's very difficult for our kids to eat those kind of things like my daughter jean naya hmm. this girl can start fainting because of like she'll start some assault and i'm not when i always say some assault people are always laughing and saying we are being extra but i feel like the girl so much, she starts doing like this like <laughs> she legit <laughs> or she starts telling you i want to wee wee i want to poo poo i just want to bring me my head my nose my ear like she starts telling you different different things fam and you're like geez like girl calm down it's just gary <laughs> no, it's not bomb. It's not, it's not. I don't know. She, she's so extra. And my son, you know how it is now when your other sister is doing, being dramatic. Some of these kids follow their older one. Hi, some you see them just like, like, like the type kind of house I grew up in. Please don't even eat so that I will eat the food. That's how we grew up. And my son is not that way. My son follows whatever the sister follows. If sister says beans is delicious automatically it's delicious for my son my my because i noticed that when my daughter is sleeping and you feed my son gary he doesn't have any issues with it like he eats it but the moment sister is awake my son starts acting out so like moms when i tell you i know i've been there <laughs> done that found solution and that's why i'm giving you guys so the first thing i i would advise fam moms dad if you're watching this video as a dad uncle auntie the first now advice is to always make sure the food is appealing very important use their favorite plates use their favorite cutleries always make sure this food are really like put in the extra work especially if your kids are, don't like it. if your kids already like it ah you don't need to do all those plenty plenty things but if your kids don't like it you need to put in those extra work like okay there's this thing they have in the market that comes in circles um love shape triangle shape they use it for baking i think you can make those food into those shapes i know when the, some of these kids when they see these things they're like hey shape 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 triangle like they're really excited and it makes them want to get into the food you know use colorful plates if your kids like red plate or red color and or blue or pink you know use those kind of things and those things can really attract the kids to the food so another thing i do which many people may not find really really okay but i do it anyways if that's what works for me is to give them their favorite drinks if you're really uncomfortable giving them like maybe every time you're giving them, okay let me let us assume their favorite drink is coke every time you're giving them coke, coke, coke mm -mm. you can give them fruits you can just mix it up but just try and give them drinks it makes them enjoy the food even you as a mom when you're eating and you're drinking taking a drink you know how it feels so always try even if you just fold that particular food that they don't like it makes them just eat it some of you might say this is not like that what i like this is too much but fam just trust me over time they start getting used to just to eating the food you know you start reducing your hand maybe if you used to give them one bottle from there you give them like like water like that half like that you start reducing your hand until they're not very very okay with it so the next one i do is telling them the benefits of that food you know when these kids watch cartoon they always hear things like eat your veggies eat your carrots eat your this eat your tomatoes you know that kind of thing so i always use those things to tell them like if my daughter is eating soup and she starts acting i start telling her how sophia told clover that he should eat his veggies it's very good for him to make him go strong and big and be able to lift everything up you know those kind of things are i am those kind of things are things that kids are interested in they want to hear that they are very big they are strong like my son would want you to tell him he's strong he can break everything so i always tell them if you eat this you're going to be very strong you may be able to carry me and most of my most times i i won't lie i trick them like after eating i'll tell them come and carry my leg and the moment they start carrying my leg i help them to lift it up lift it up and in their mind is because of the soup the gari the air the beans that they are lifting my leg up so using those kind of things can really really help moms so another thing that you have to note is to give them in small sizes you don't need to carry one big gary like or one big beans one big bowl of no you can just time it like if normally your kids eat three times a day you can just time it and say okay this beans he's going to eat it twice or thrice so you give him now you time maybe you, in the next one hour you give him another one in the next one hour you give him another one and it's okay don't just 
especially when you give your kids a lot of food don't just pack that plenty beans and just skip in the kids from like if it's even you to even be like i don't even like this food before and this woman is now over packing you know it looks somehow it's the kids will not even eat i've seen kids that when their parents bring give them food they start crying like i've seen i'm not lying and these are the things that make them start crying don't just pack it like pack it and just give them mm -mm. So give them in small small portions like that big food make sure you give them like the size you want them to eat you know your child and you know what the child is capable of eating that particular size but just share it into three or two or just however work for it 10 20 but just make sure you share it so that the kids can eat it easily like, it will be easier i do it a lot like, if i want my kids to eat maybe a handful of gary now my, like my own handful instead of giving them ones i divide it into two or i divide it into three most times two and with all this my plenty plenty they will eat it sha without like not two times sometimes they eat it once sometimes twice you know but because it's my other girl i just told you guys about why don't they even eat it like if you want to eat it with all this drama i'm doing <laughs> if you want to eat it <laughs> so the last one i'm going to be talking about which may not be really convenient but if you can try to feed them yourselves you know when a child doesn't like something and someone else is feeding that child it's really not easy even that person will not even take it do you know the one thing about this feeling of a thing eh? the way you feed your child is not the way any other person will feed your child like you can you may be you will be not you may you will be patient with your child your child will just some like for me my kids when they see me they are more comfortable so they will eat more if i'm the one feeding them than if another person is feeding them so if you can if you can you know most times you go out your child is not eating you, maybe you have helps or nannies or whatever you go out and your child is not eating it can really be annoying so if you can just try okay like what i do is some people give their kids beans to take to school and the kids bring them back what so what i do is of giving my child food that my child will not eat in school i give her in the house it's not me to give her beans in the morning now i will give her maybe plantain spaghetti whatever she likes normally the way she comes back from school i make sure i feed her that beans for myself because i know she will eat it but if she takes it to school she just don't want to spank her they don't want the one that you will not come and start shouting so they won't even give your child that food but when you're doing it yourself they're not even born that picking well like <laughs> they're not even born, for me they're not even born away with all these plenty, plenty lists i've listed you still will not eat like your not is not listening it's, it's, it's not loosening i don't even want to talk to more but it's not loosening i hope you enjoyed this video i hope these five tips helped you if you did give me a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section and if you have more tips on how to make sure your children eat nigerian food please leave it in the comment section this is the only five i can think of right now so you can leave yours in the comment section and i love you guys so much comment like subscribe thumbs up bye